Okay, let's go back, if you will, 1992. I was rehearsing uh, a revival of Guys and Dolls. And on a rehearsal break, I went to read for this film. It was then called King of the Jungle. Uh, coming out of the audition room was Ernie Sabella, who was also in Guys and Dolls. And I was going in, and I'm reading. Uh, it's a scene with three hyenas. So I asked them, would it be all right if I read with Ernie so I didn't just have to provide three different voices and talk to myself? I thought it would be a, a lot more fun. And, and uh, so Ernie and I went in and um, uh, improvised a bit and also you know, did the, the, the scene. And uh, about three or four months later, they said, um, we don't want you for the hyenas, but we're developing these two characters. One is a meerkat, one is a warthog. And eventually, uh, uh, by the time we got involved and started recording, um, it had a new, uh, two new directors, co-directors, and, um, and it was called uh, The Lion King. And uh, these characters were basically comic relief. If, if, if it is a Shakespearean plot, uh, these are the clowns. Initially, when it was King of the Jungle, people were sort of poo-pooing it. There wasn't, people weren't so excited about it. They all wanted to work on, all the animators wanted to work on Pocahontas, apparently. And then, and eventually this movie, um, you know, became uh, very interesting. And I think uh, Mr. Katzenberg had a lot to do with that. And, and I think he was the one who really kept saying, you've got to put more of these two characters into it. It's a little heavy. It's a little serious. And I remember when we, uh, when we, the movie, they started showing it to the press, there was some presentations and Jeffrey Katzenberg would co come out with real lions and... And Ernie and I would come out and sing Hakuna Matata and do some comedy. And they showed two scenes. And they showed the Hakuna Matata number, which was very successful. And then they showed this scene with the wildebeest, the stampede. And this, and then I just thought, it's amazing that they've gone this far, that it was because it was so dark. I mean, it was, again, the death of a parent. But then they did this, that interesting, <laughs> the most twisted thing was Jer Jeremy Irons coming out of nowhere and saying to him, Simba, what have you done? Uh, you know, I'll always remember that, thinking, wow. <laughs> They're also going to lay in guilt and, uh, and, and, and sort of sending him off, uh, banishing him in a sense, and uh, trying to kill him, but, but he gets away. But uh, I thought, that's really something. You know, that's the darkest uh, I, they've been since Bambi that I can recall. Because the film at that point had gotten so heavy when Ernie and I came on, uh, there was such relief when I saw it with an audience. It was people laughed twice as hard <laughs> because they were just glad to see two um, upbeat characters. And, uh, and it was great fun to do. And Ernie and I just had a blast.